scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I don't know if there is a woman here, they call you Mama Grace. Is there someone like that? I just heard that. I don't know if it's your daughter that is Grace, but it's like they call you Mama Grace. The Grace that's in house of the mother of Grace. Please, if there's someone like that, I want to pray for you. We're going to be praying for the sick shortly. But I just heard that, and then I'll pray for you. Who is Joel? Joel. I'm hearing a name, Joel. Is there someone with such a name? Please don't tell lies. Make sure Jesus is here. Joel. Joel. Mama, who did they call Mama Grace? You, Mama? Can I pray for you? Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. The Lord himself by his spirit is doing a new thing. I'm seeing the Lord heal someone right now. I'm seeing someone you've been experiencing signs of arthritis. We're going to pray for the sick right now. Signs of arthritis. But right now that pain is living in the name of Jesus Christ that pain is living right now in the name of Jesus Christ mama grace I'm still hearing that name again I presume that there might be a number of women but we'll just stand by faith and pray for the ones we have here in the name of Jesus Christ this right here someone is going to shout loud under the anointing there Pick the person and bring the person. Just write down the anointing. I just saw like fire. There might be shouts elsewhere, but right here. Mighty God. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is too good. I will worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is too good. I know a God who is mercy. Full and kind, faithful and gracious. On the apple of his eyes, the thoughts that fills his heart every morning, noon, and night. He loved me when I didn't care. And was patient till I came Running Run back, back into his arms oh. oh, this will be your testimony Look how he's turned my life, life around Baby, Shab baby a like shining light His, his glory, glory to reveal. reveal I will worship I will worship him forever
the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, the power of God will come on one of you here. The moment that happens, the Lord is bringing healing and deliverance. Just one of you who is in front here. Very quickly, I already begin to sense the healing anointing. I just saw an anointing coming on one of you who is in front here. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I decree and declare, let that be so for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My attention is distracted there. Please, um, I want you to help the person who the power of God comes upon right now. I just saw oil being poured just straight down this road. Majesty. Now in the name of Jesus, I declare for all of you who are out here, may the Lord visit you and visit your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord visit you and visit your children. In the name of Jesus, I'm about to pray for the sick now. Twelve years, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that? Twelve years. I'm seeing the number twelve. Twelve years. Please don't just come out anyhow. Just Let's just... Twelve years. Ah, salvation has come to you. Who is that person? Twelve years. Twelve years. Let's celebrate Jesus. It is coming to an end. I know you are here. Here in your power, I know, I know you, you are, are here, here. Precious, Precious Holy Spirit, Spirit. I, know I know you are, are here. here, here in your glory, I know you are here, Precious, Precious Holy Spirit. I know, I know you, you are, are here, here. Ah. here in your glory. I know, I know you, you are, are here. here, sweet Holy Spirit. I know, I know you, you are, are here. here. You are here to take us higher. I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit. Now, hold on, please. I'm going to ask Pastor Nat, listen, there are many of you who are called into prophetic worship. Now, hear me, help them, please. He's going to blow the trumpet. And hear me, as he blasts that trumpet from the depth of the spirit, a mantle and a grace is going to rest upon you. Please hear me. Doing music is not just about singing. It's a spiritual affair. Some of you will draw songs from the realm of the spirit. Some of you will hear melodies in the night. Some of you who are instrumentalists will lay your hands from tonight. And it will be a different sound. Are you ready? There will be a mighty baptism. It doesn't matter what auditorium. My God. A sound is coming. By the spirit of grace. And upon this sound. There will be an awakening. A prophetic awakening from within your spirit. Yes, sir. Oh, spring up her wells. We call for prophetic fountains. Mistrials of glory. Prophetic psalmistry. We decree and declare. Let that grace and that mantle rest upon you. Songs of deliverance, songs in the night, songs of worship. We find the altar of worship afresh again, afresh again. Let fire fall upon your ministry. New 
dimension new seasons new seasons pastor sam the lord is just telling me to tell you truly that he's bringing you into a new season in ministry that your influence will start rising beyond gombe state this is what god is saying god will begin to draw people to come and drink from you that are beyond that state and that grace by the spirit of grace may that grace rest upon you and it will start as the ministry of prayer and then it will move to the prophetic prayer and the prophetic in the name of jesus may god make that happen for you by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare let those wells be opened by the spirit in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah now hear me hear me i'm seeing the grace of the intercessor and i'm seeing the number 40 many of them women there is a prophetic grace for prayer and intercession at the count of three that mantle is coming on people right now prayer groups intercessory groups will arise by the spirit one my god two three Take that fire now. Latu, let the grace for intercession fall upon you. Women of prayer, women of power, women that wail until prophecy is breathed over the state, over families. We decree by the decree of the watchman. Help that woman, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Have that woman, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the decree of the watchman, let it be so. We establish it as an ordinance in the realm of the spirit that the incense of prayer will arise from the plateau even to the heaven. Now, I want to pray for the sick. I believe in the healing ministry. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. My sister, this lady wearing yellow, lift your hands. I'm seeing oil coming on your head. And the Lord is saying he's opening you up to a new season. In the name of Jesus, may that anointing come upon your life and shift you to a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy.
Please lay your hand right now where you are trusting God for a healing miracle. I want you to believe in the power of Jesus to heal. You can bring the requests up while we do that so we hurry up right now. Please lay your hands wherever. If it's your head, lay your hands there as a point of contact. I tell you there's, there's such mighty anointing to heal right now. Something is happening. All of the overflows everywhere you're the, the power of God upon to heal you are the lamb upon you are the lamb upon hallelujah now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest as a point of contact and for all of you who are following you're watching from your homes you're watching from wherever, whatever TV station. Here is your chance to experience the power of Jesus from America to Europe to Asia. Here in Africa, all of the states connected and following. Here is your chance to experience the miracle working power of Jesus. I want you to believe as I pray. Listen, miracles are not superstitions. They are direct products of the power of God in the life of a believing Christian that you believe he's able to heal you then he comes to heal agree with me as I pray now hear me our time is up and I don't intend to keep us unnecessarily long but we have to do this very quickly I'm just going to be praying for one or two minutes the moment I pray for you, a miracle, already miracles are already happening everywhere. Inside here, outside, for those of you who came, you came and probably miracles were already happening to you. Now, as I pray for you, I want you to believe and receive by faith. Remember I taught you the law of faith? When I pray for you, I'm going to request that you do what you could not do. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, may I please request for sake of time 
that you use either this place in front by my left or that place by my right the moment the power of God touches you and you find out that you could do something a relief the growth is gone the pain is gone you couldn't walk now you can walk you were blind now you can see I will request when I ask you to to run out and stand here and we'll take a few of the testimonies before we pray finally over the request and then we're done for the night make sure you do not sit back as his power touches you perhaps you may have received a miracle yesterday and you didn't have the time to prophesy when those who are coming out are coming out you can join them very quickly when I say in Jesus name please shout a believing amen in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now every spirit of infirmity here upon this ground and here upon the plateau we decree and declare in the name of he who died and was raised by the glory of the father seated and exalted even jesus i decree and declare that your hold over god's people is broken now in the name of jesus now i decree and declare be healed now be healed now from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now i release miracles in the name of jesus i command blind eyes to be opened now whether partial blindness complete blindness be healed now deafness be healed in the name of jesus every blood condition I rebuke that condition in the name of Jesus. Lumps. The Lord is showing me lumps of all kinds. I declare that those lumps disappear now. Hepatitis. Be healed now. HIV. Be healed now. Cancer. Be healed now. Fibroids. Be healed now cardiovascular conditions be healed now bone conditions you came here on crutches you came here using an aid be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone I'm seeing you can't see very well in fact it's, it's almost as if one eye is completely blind but right now as I'm praying you're from a distance the power of God will come upon you and you will see that you can see clearly right now in the name of Jesus bone conditions be healed right now I'm seeing a young lady who came here you are SS in the name of Jesus Christ we change that genotype now by the power of the Holy Ghost peptic ulcer be healed right now lower abdominal pain be healed right now pain around your vertebra be healed in the name of Jesus severe waist pain in the name of Jesus the Lord is healing you there's someone you have just heat around your body in Jesus name be healed now now there's someone you have a condition it looks like moms you know what moms are where there's one is swelling at the side of your cheek but it's been there for a while you would notice that the contour of your face one side looks swollen than the other you've seen this you've prayed you've done your best but it's not gone right now i command that that condition is restored in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there's someone you're a young man but you get tired very easily almost like a very old person you can't stand for long i declare be healed right now now whether i mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God here at this conference be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name now very quickly I want you to check yourself and do what you couldn't do the moment you find out that there is a miracle boldly make your way to the front right now let's celebrate them as you come check yourself check yourself in any of the overflows the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you you've been healed relieved of any pain migraine headaches going 
make your way to the front are you celebrating miracles people are coming out very quickly make your way boldly to the front look at miracles are happening my goodness are you seeing what is happening here what are you turning to wine open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you Can we have one or two pastors? Just help me. Stick to the darkness we shine. Out of the ashes we rise. No one like you. Not like you. Keep coming. My goodness. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Plateau the beautiful. Is this how you celebrate the hand of God? We want to shame the devil upon the plateau soil in the name of Jesus to reveal by these miracles that Jesus is doing a new thing upon the plateau. If you're in agreement, shout a loud amen. Please. Hallelujah. The lump okay. on her side and the breast is gone. Lump. Something is happening somewhere. What is happening there? Looks like there's a miracle happening there. What is that? I can't see it. There's a miracle happening there. Ah. Oh, a wheelchair. Give Jesus a big shout. Hallelujah. another wheelchair there another miracle you have a track record of keeping your word and you're not about to stop doing hey oh lord who are you you are mighty lord oh lord who are you you are mighty lord shape all of fortune yes let's take a few of the miracles are you ready let's have another pastor there someone attend to them there do we have anyone please any of the ministers okay if you're ready let's let's just save time very quickly miracles are happening here i'm seeing in my vision i'm seeing someone you're using a crutch it's not a it's not a wheelchair it's like a, a, a stick or something i don't know this is the vision i'm seeing i don't know who the, whether the person is here or in any of the overflows don't be afraid lift it up and walk lift it up and walk in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god lift it up and walk lift it up and walk you are good you are kind lift it up and you walk are more than peace lost for words. words trying to describe you elohim Lift it up and walk in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Your greatness is all I see. There is nothing you cannot do. There is no mountain you cannot move. If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a drop record of keeping your word. You're not about to stop doing it now. Hey! 
Hallelujah. Sir, what happened to you? What's that now? Oh, the overflow. Something is happening in the overflow. Where is that now? Which of, I don't know which of the overflow. Let's celebrate though something is happening there. Now, we don't know what is happening, but we know something is happening. Hallelujah. Let's have goodness. We have to work with time. Sadly, we can't take all of this. Okay, let's, let's take two or three, and then we'll have to pray on the request. Very quickly, please. Anyone ready? Very quickly. Okay, Praise so. The Lord. From 2011, I've been having severe pain on my left leg. Yes. At times, it will just freeze. And when I came here, I even was dancing. Please don't don't put anyone jump. under pressure. I am na, jumping na, now. Na. The pain is gone. Completely. Jump. Completely jump. Gone. Jump. Jumping. Any pain. Completely. Please don't, don't put anyone under pressure. Please. Please. Don't do that at all. Don't put anyone under pressure. Hallelujah. If it happens for them, there are people who might not receive all of the miracles here. But that the seed has been sown, please let them be. We're not faking it here at all. Another miracle has happened there. Only God knows. It looks like the overflow is receiving more than us here. Their faith seems to have. Praise the Lord. Before I came here, I had serious abdominal pain, but I cannot feel it again. Praise Completely the Lord. gone. It never returns in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, please. Very quickly. Amen. Arthritis left this very moment. Arthritis. Yes. I can't. Who is speaking? Hallelujah. Okay. What happened? Arthritis left. Confirmed medically? Yes, sir. How long, yes, sir? sir? Over 12 years now. Your legs? Yes, sir. Which of them? The left leg. Move it. Let the devil see you. Let the devil see you. Run. 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 Overflow. <laughs> Overflow ah. one. Overflow one. Amen. From over the overflow. Praise From the overflow. Me. From the overflow, yes. I am healed. I am healed. <laughs> From sickle cell anemia, I am healed. She's walking with a walking stick and she has been healed of sickle cell anemia. Yes. Oh dear, I wish I could. Which of, you, please, when you talk, um, the pastors in charge, let us know which overflow you are speaking from. The we car park. Not, the car park. Where is the car park? Overflow three. So what happened there? Let's know. She could say anemia. She's been healed. What couldn't she do before? She was walking with her head, a, a, a walking stick, but now she could walk. Ask her to walk headed. without it now. My goodness. Yes, please. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've undergone surgery in my eyes three times. Three times? Yes. Surgery? Yes. What for? One eye. What did they tell you was wrong? First was cataract. Second was change of lens. The third, they, were, they had to change the lens again. And what happened now? Friend, I can't see with the eyes even after the third surgery. You couldn't see? Yes. And right now? What couldn't you see before? You, can't view anything entirely. I can't even see you, you couldn't see me from Whoa. there. Yes, sir. One, hey. two, three, eight, ten. Give Jesus praise. So yes, this please. one, this brother Nash is the one that easily get tired on the leg, and the Lord healed him. How long, my friend? For how long? It has been long. It has been long. And right now, yes, sir. completely, yes, sir. we rebuke that tiredness in the name of Jesus. For sake of time, let's just have one, 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 one each so that we can, otherwise we're going to stay all through the night. Yes, please, one there. Anyone who is ready, go ahead. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Several How? years gone. Several years gone. I have terrible pain at my back. Before I came, my back said that is gone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Gone forever in the name of Jesus. Severe chest pain and knee pain completely gone. Gone forever. Amen. Now for all of you who have come, before I pray for this, 
Pastor Nat is going to lead us through two minutes of high praise. Jump every devil out of your life. Are we together? Listen, I want you to prepare. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Because it is in praise that his power is made manifest. Now for all of you who have been healed, I declare it will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout! Hey, I stand amazed in your presence. Stand amazed in your breath. Hallelujah. Hold on. Hold on, please. This is from the overflow. Who is that? The young lady. Let me see. How were you walking before? How were you walking, darling? You couldn't walk. I couldn't walk. Lift it now. Walk. Walk. Move. Oh, my God. Oh, she walked from the overflow. Are you giving Jesus a big, 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 big praise? Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? Jesus, hey, fact in the name of Jesus for all of you who are healed let there be your testimonies remain forever particularly I'm seeing this man standing in the name of Jesus your miracle is established how long has this been six months for six months eight months months. what happened to you I tried this I could not stand you couldn't stand I couldn't stand at all without the help of my cousin I could not stand Now unto the one upon the throne We raise a sound We raise a sound 
by faith right here everyone stretch your hands by faith and begin to pray I am agreeing under the corporate anointing this is not just Joshua Selman Pastor Nathaniel Reverend Akila all the men and women of God upon the plateau here represented we stand as a united church praying over this is someone stretching your hands that these Egyptians I see today that I see them no more forever. Are we in agreement? I'm going to bow my knees and I'm going to pray. Now, let me tell you this, and, and this is true. Um, many of you know that I love Pastor Nath with all my heart. He's a very great, great vessel of God. There is a mystery about him and this trumpet. You see, the shout of a king when in the midst of a people produces wonders. I'm going to bow my knees and lay my hands and I'm just going to ask him as inspired by the spirit. He's blowing over by the spirit. Do you know what that means? That the sound is blowing away shame. Blowing away pain. Listen to me. It is by the sound of the trumpet that there is a separation between those who live and those who stay. That means the sound of a trumpet can separate what should go and what should stay. The sound of a trumpet separates a condition. It is not just for rapture. It is not just the sound of the archangel. The trumpet is a mystery that as the shofar is blown with understanding, it can bring a separation between what must stay and what must live. Are you ready by faith? Stretch your hands here. You don't have to kneel. I'll do the kneeling for you. And Pastor Nat will just blow prophetically. I'd like you to believe. Because many of you, you will go back home and you will watch testimonies. Lined up like visitors waiting for you. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray.
get believing amen in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the decree of the watchers and by the message of the God of heaven these Egyptians that you see today you will see no more forever you will see no more forever you will see no more forever by this request help help that lady please so she doesn't injure herself every spirit behind the tragedies here represented in the name of Jesus we banish you forever we banish your influence forever in the mighty name of Jesus every door that has been shut over your life and destiny I speak to that door a father be open heater and theta in the name of Jesus Christ And I decree and declare by the mystery of the ark in the house of Obed Edom, 90 days from tonight, three months, believe me, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, within three months from tonight, let there be strange visitations, strange testimonies, marvelous workings of the power of God. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just let me two minutes and we're done. If you can hold the hands of anybody, please in one minute, let's pray for the church on the plateau. Father, we decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, the church upon the plateau, regardless denomination, regardless differences in doctrine, for the business people across the plateau in the name of Jesus for everyone involved in business to whatever decree by the power of the Holy Spirit you will not go down again that when men say there is a casting down we stand by the spirit of grace and we declare for you let it be that there is a lifting up number three we pray for plateau the man God has elected and selected by his spirit alongside every other person from governor to senate members to house members, federal house of reps, state house. We decree and declare may the angel of his presence go before us and grant peace upon this state in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of poverty and failure and everything that brings reproach to the name of Christ over the lives of the saints we banish it from this territory in the name of Jesus I pray for your prayer altar I pray for your word study life these are the components that make for your maturity in the name of Jesus find grace to pray in the name of Jesus, find grace to study. In the name of Jesus, I multiply your passion for the house of God. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of God. Let it be so, in the name of Jesus, that all the ministers and servants of God in this nation, and in this state particularly, they will stand as one, with one voice, putting behind whatever petty differences, and stand as one coordinated team lifting up the name of Jesus may that be so for this state in the name of Jesus Christ finally we pray for house on the rock upon the plateau you are indeed a house that is upon a rock we pray for all the workers we pray for all who are part of this vision and all who supports this vision in the name of Jesus let it be for you from glory to glory. Let it be for you from grace to grace. Let it be for you from power to power. 
and for everyone who has come to celebrate with the man of God, his wife and this vision, I decree and declare, shame and reproach will be far from your life. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. I want to thank you sincerely for every time I have the privilege of coming to this state through whatever platform, especially the House on the Rock platform. I am truly grateful and honored. It is my joy to minister to you because I love Jesus, but it is also my joy because I'm ministering to my own people. Reverend, thank you so much. I do not take for granted. Ma, thank you. May the Lord bless you. The Lord increase you in Jesus' name. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.